welcome to our show. <laughs> this is so this is so fun. <laughs> Can you hear us? I hope so. Can you hear us? What are we thinking? I am thinking under eye filler. Okay. I had it done in 2021 and I miss it. And I feel like I have yeah. hollow all throughout. Yeah. I mean, first of all, like your face is beautiful. Thank you. But I I do think like maybe a small amount of under eye filler. Mm -hmm. And then were you thinking anything like chin? Because I know we were talking chin a little bit yes. too. So somebody told me I needed chin filler. So you have a very like pronounced chin. I don't think it's necessarily like you need a lot of chin filler. I think what they might say is like you have a little bit of a cute little butt chin. Mm -hmm. But I, I mean, it's up to you. If you love your cute little butt chin, don't change it. If it's something that you're like, I don't love it, then right. you could put a small amount of filler in and it's just going to ever so slightly bring it to like more of a like a feminine point. Yes, it's going to give you a little bit more of a like you have a very nice jawline. So it's just going to connect it up here. And oh, I want to do it. Cool. I want to see what Yay. it looks like. <laughs> just like looking at this. So is this really hollow? Do you think? No. Like you're not someone that I look at and I'm like, oh my god, she needs under eye filler right away. Yeah. But because you're just so like chiseled everywhere that I feel like that's like the only place of like hollowness that you do have. I wanna look like I don't work a nine to five and I'm not an <laughs> entrepreneur don't, seven don't days all? a week. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna look like my business is not gutting me from the inside out. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a newborn. <laughs> Bruising's normal under the eyes. I don't know if you bruised last time when you got it done. Very, very normal. Okay, so I, I obviously try my best, yeah. but the under eyes are just a super sensitive area, so right. that's more of a chance of bruising with the under eyes. Um, chin. What about chin? Really shouldn't bruise, but something interesting that when I got the chin filler done, yeah. it feels more like a bruise than anything. Huh. So you'll like be doing your normal routine and you'll accidentally hit your chin and you're like, ow. <laughs> like what's wrong with my chin? And it's like, oh, I got chin filler. Oh. <laughs> it's very, like you'll come back and you'll be like, no, you're, that's exactly how it felt. But it's hard to describe. It, it won't look like bruise, but it feels very bruised. Huh. Never even heard of that before. Yeah. A new product. Oh. Well, newer product. Ooh. Highlight. I'm going to say this wrong. Wrestling? Wrestling. 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 We're thin, so it doesn't make you look puffy or, I don't know, fake at all. Tell me about you. What got you into this? So, I... Always like I always want to be a nurse. So I went to nursing school. I started working in the NICU. And then I decided one day I wanted to get my lips done because yeah. I had no top lip whatsoever. Resort, Same. resort to my Instagram for pictures. Um <laughs> and I like absolutely fell in love and I was like so much more confident after something so little. I was like, wait, I wanna do that for a living. Like I wanna make people feel like yeah. that. Um and I want to do it in a natural way because I know fillers have such like a bad rep. Mm -hmm. And so my whole purpose was like, I want to change people's perspectives on it. Yeah. Um, so I found a job as a nurse and then graduated from NP school and just decided now or never to kind of go independent. Right. And so and that's scary. It is. Especially being young. Yeah. And that's where I am. I'm in that in between. Yeah. Like, I'm still at the nine to five, but I want to be on but my own. But you want to be on your own. Mm -hmm. Well, you're killing it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I like, don't know how you do it. It's hard, but I don't know how you do it either. Like, the fact that you could just take that jump at your age and just be like, all right, I'm going for it. Yeah. I need to have like guts to just <laughs> do it. You're like, I'm too scared. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's, it definitely was scary, but I'm super glad that I did it because I don't ever want to go back. Yeah. I don't want to put that under my eyes. How do you know Anna? I'm trying to think how I even met her. So She's I'm the best here. esthetician ever. Yeah, I was wondering. 
<laughs> so I moved here in 2021. Okay. From where? Letcher State Park area. Oh, okay. So not that far, but. Yeah. So middle of nowhere. Got engaged. <laughs> moved up to Rochester. And then I just started connecting with a lot of people. And I'm pretty sure somebody sent me on his way. And I met her and I was like instantly. Yeah, in you're love like, with she's her. my vibe, right? She's my best friend now. <laughs> we're, we're besties. <laughs> I love when you just, like, instantly click with someone. Yeah. So I've, like, helped her with her business. She's helped me with mine. And then she came to my show when I competed, oh, which was awesome. So and awesome. she, like, saw me win. And she's just a hype girl. I and know. that's what she's we great. need. I know. We need – Yeah. everyone should be a hype girl. Yes. Because guess what? Life's too short. It is. And we all deserve to be living our best lives. I close my eyes. Yeah, close your eyes, just relax. Oh, we didn't even take a picture. Oh, shit. That's okay, I'll do it on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, think the other side's worse anyway. I'm the worst person when it comes to before <laughs> and afters. I get too excited. I'm like, let's start injecting. And so many of my people are like, I want to see more under eye filler. So there's like a big controversy going on right now between getting under eye filler and cheek filler. Yes. Which I'm like a fan of both, but like sometimes some people actually need the under eye filler. Yes. So I have a lot of clients that actually need both. You're someone that I'm not opposed to doing the under eye with because you already have these like really nice cheekbones, right? So same thing with like my face. I have cheekbones, but my under eyes are hollow. When it's someone whose their face is just kind of flat, mm -hmm. that's when I recommend doing cheeks first because it's going to pull you up and out and it's going to take away from like that under eye. But yeah, the under eyes are definitely... A hard area to treat just because like there's a small amount of filler that goes from being enough perfect amount to too much and making you look puffy right right because it's a very thin area less is more you can always go back and add absolutely in more. and that's what i tell all my clients i'd rather you leave here being like i feel like i could use more but let's revisit then i feel like we did too much because you can always dissolve filler and that's one thing i love about filler is that if she came back in two weeks and was like hey i absolutely hate my under eyes no harm no foul we dissolve it and go back to the way that it was right but i'd rather have to add more than take away nine times out of ten i'm gonna love it right <laughs> i very rarely have people I, but i like to tell people that because it gives them like that little sense of like okay if i do hate it i can take it away mm -hmm. like Unfortunately, you're going to have the opposite problem here. You're going to love it. Yeah, your under eyes take to this really well, too. Yay. Like, you don't, because you're still young, you don't have super thin under eyes, which I love. Because a lot of times, too, people... Another issue I see with under eyes with people wanting fillers, it's not so much hollowness that they have an issue with, it's discoloration. Mm -hmm. And filler is not always going to help discoloration. It might help a little by puffing up the eye and getting rid of shadows. Right. But if it's true, like discoloration, what you need is like a good eye cream mm -hmm. um, as opposed to fillers, unfortunately. <laughs> do you have any recommendations for? I do. So I just started brought in the Revision Skincare line because I love them. They have two different eye creams. They have a vitamin C eye cream and a the DEJ eye cream. I use the DEJ just because I don't really have a discoloration problem. It's more so like creasing and just like overall trying to prevent right. anything worse from happening to my under eyes. If it's more of like a dark circles, this the vitamin C is absolutely amazing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should have looked better today. Oh my god! <laughs> Stop. Man, it, I gotta show you the difference between the two already. Oh my god, I'm alive. And that is again 
Just a small, small amount. I'm alive. Do you see how, like, the hollowness is just... Mm Mm-hmm. This is, like, halfway through. So this is hollow. Ah! Yeah, that's crazy. And then, of course, any bruising or swelling is going to go down. That's the hardest part about under eyes is right after people are like, yeah, it looks good, but I'm bruised. (laughs) Okay, so I'm going to say this. Yeah. I've had my under eyes done before, and she just did it, and it, like, I felt nothing. (laughs) What the hell? (laughs) (laughs) I have a magic touch. (laughs) I want to take a picture. Under eyes are the hardest things to get pictures of people. I get yelled at all the time. People on my Instagram. I'm trying. Okay? Like, we want to see some real yeah. results. I'm like, I'm trying. Show us. <laughs> Looks so good. It's like. It doesn't even cause any, like, it is so smooth. Yay. I'm show you. If you feel like we need, we, we want to do more, we can absolutely do more, but. Oh my God. Do you see that? What the, what the fuck? What Isn't the that crazy? Fuck? Wow. Girl. Like, that is such a small amount of filler. Start crying. No, I needed cry. this so bad. <laughs> um, are you happy with that? Do you feel like you want more on any either side? And again, we always can revisit because right there is some swelling aspect to it, right? Right. So once the swelling goes down, if you're like, okay, now I feel like this side needs a little bit more, we absolutely can do it yeah. then too. Yeah, that's why I, I would say let it settle and yeah, then we can that's revisit. how I am. I'm very conservative. I'd prefer, like I said, to come back yeah. than to do too much right now. Right. I agree. But I think it looks really, even with like the little bit of like even that just redness looks... and bruising, it looks so good. Yeah. Immediately. Ah! So much better already. I'm excited. Okay. Now I'm excited for the chin. Chin segment. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Have you been doing a lot of chins? I have. So my biggest complaint that I see is people want to slim their face. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three things that are going to slim your face. Masseter Botox. Masseter Botox, which is absolutely life-changing if you need it. Mm -hmm. Um, And then going in and filling in the chin to even out and elongate makes... I have so many clients, too, that come to me and they're like, oh, I think I want, you know, like lip filler or this. And I look at them and I say, I think you need chin filler. And we do it and they are like mind blown. Wow. Because they never thought they needed it. Yeah. And they were like, if I could choose one thing to do again, it would be chin filler. I'm ready to have my life changed. Life changing. (laughs) I just tried masseter Botox. Oh, did did you? Okay. So this is How do you like it so far? I've actually noticed a difference mm-hmm. that my face is like slimmer. Yep. Because, I mean, I'm a gym rat, so I'd be like <laughs> clenching all the time. Yep. The stress in my jaw that mm-hmm. I had isn't like there anymore. Yeah. It's crazy. That's the littlest amount of filler, too, is going to make a huge difference in your chin. It's going to be amazing. Ah, okay. I'm taking a picture this time. Look at my bony chin. Stop all right. Say it. goodbye. Say goodbye to my bony butt chin (laughs) butt chins are cute how do you get like a good picture of it though do i have to make a weird face no just be normal it'll work i promise oh yeah this is gonna be can you tell i love my jaws guys yes (laughs) do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life facts All right, that was weird. Right? The chin's weird. That's a weird feeling. I tried to, try to like, and then it's weird when it's healing. That's what I mean. It's just, like, I, you wouldn't think it's a sensitive area. That was, like, it was funny. 
it was weird. How do we, how would you describe it? Like it's like it feels like somebody's like pulling down my chin. Yeah. <laughs> At first, when I first got it, I was like, I feel like this isn't mine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I feel weird. You're just contemplating what's happening. You're like, am I? Oh, how long does it last in the chin? So love filler in other parts of your face other than the lips because it lasts super long. So under eyes, cheeks, chin, marionette lines, all of those should last like minimum a year because you're not really moving. Right. Which is amazing. Oh my god. That's so weird. And again, we only did a small amount. We can always do more, especially like some of this might be swelling again. Mm -hmm. So we can always go back in in two weeks and fill a little bit more. But like from the side, girl. <laughs> what the hell? But it didn't change. Like, you don't look like a different person. No, you it just didn't. look a little bit more chiseled like but in a feminine eh, fem, how do you say that word feminine feminine way femininity like it just you know yeah wow that's the coolest thing i've ever seen in my life isn't it crazy i gotta take a picture so i can put them next to each other because that's when you're really gonna notice under it, eye so. chin filler masseter or botox Put it on your list. Do it all. Go to the natural NP. <laughs> Nicole, please. <laughs> <laughs> really just like almost weird feeling more than anything. The difference is wild. Crazy. And that's not even from the side. This is the oh. side before. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. No way. Isn't that crazy? That's amazing. Oh, I'm obsessed. That's my chin. You just look like refreshed. I look so alive again. Thank you. Of course. That's Next so up, lips. <laughs> <laughs> Next segment is going to be lips. <laughs> I'm a if you want her to get her lips done, leave a comment. Yeah. <laughs> if you want lips dissolved and redone. Oh my god, thank you so much. Of course. You're a doll. Oh my god.